We like you in the shot, Don. You're the mysterious man they all ask about. He's a skate boss. Skate boss, Don. Boom, boom. Mm. All righty, skaters. So today we're going over bubbles and scissors. Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sure Grip Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center to give you lesson number five. Now, if you haven't watched lesson one through four, I need you to get on it, but you could just start right here too because today we're gonna be talking about how to not only gain but maintain momentum through perfect bubbles and scissors. I know, it's so exciting, right? Today's video is brought to you by Wicked Skatewear. Wicked Skatewear is here in Huntington Beach, California, and they're online at wickedskatewear.com. Go there for all of your skating needs. You guys, if you want to follow me on social media, get me on Dirty Deborah Harry on Instagram, Dirty Deborah Harry on Facebook, all right? So are you ready? Are you ready to not only game but moan? <laughs> Maintain momentum through bubbles and scissors. Let's get started. All right, skaters. For a lot of people learning how to skate, one of the number one challenges they have is not only gaining, but maintaining momentum once they get started. So you may be out of place, a space, a place where you're like, yes, dirty. I have my chin up. I have my shoulders straight across, got my snacks tight and my arms out nice long and lean with the pressure down. I've dropped my fun zone, got my knees nice and soft, and I know how to go forward with my feet in a V position. I know how to press down on my skates, okay? I already know how to do that, but after I do it for a little while, I really am not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere and I don't know what to do next. So in this video, we're gonna go over bubbles and we're gonna go over scissors. So this will be part of your repertoire. Uh, uh, tools in your arsenal of things that you can use in order to gain and maintain momentum. Okay, gain and maintain momentum. <laughs> I don't know why that's hard to say, but it's hard to say. Let's talk about the perfect bubble. And some of you may be like, I don't even know what a bubble is. What is this bubble thing you talk about? For some of you, these terms are regional. You may call it something else, okay? I've even heard it called the lemon, <laughs> okay? It's just out and in, out and in, out and in, like that. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack tight, arms out nice, long and lean, pressure down. Put your feet in a V position, look ahead. You're gonna take three strides, left, right, left, and then we're gonna do a bubble, ready? Drop it down, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go left and right and left. Put your feet together, drop your body weight down, let your feet go out. Bring your body weight up, pull your feet together, okay? Now, let me show you what bubbles look like, just in case you don't know. Multiple bubbles together, okay? Here's what it looks like. Up, it's down and up and down and up and down and up. You may have seen my videos where I say down with the butt, up with the gut, down with the butt, up with the gut, etc. This is extremely important. All of skating is about weight transfer and this is no different. When you drop your body weight down, I want you to easily drop it down. I don't want it violent. I don't want you dropping it all the way to the ground. I want you to drop your weight down nice and easy so that you can pick that same weight to bring it back in. When you drop it down, just release the pressure on your skates so that your skates can spread 
apart. When they spread apart, don't let them go much past your hips or shoulders. If you get them out too wide, I cannot help you, okay? You might just get stuck out here and you'd have to have a friend help pull you up. You don't want that, do you? Okay, so just tell yourself when you're going forward, look ahead, drop your body weight down and release the pressure off your feet a bit and let it go out naturally. When you want to bring it in, you've got to lift up your body weight here, direct your knees inward. When you direct your knees inward, like, like that, your toes will start coming in. But here's the real kicker. Here is the thing you need to know in order to do this properly, because a lot of you send me messages and say, you know what, I can spread my legs, but I can't get them back together. And here's where your pelvis comes in to play. When you push it out and you are down, the trick to getting your feet back together nice and easy to take your pelvis right here and push it forward. Yeah, you gotta push it forward. Push it forward, okay? So it ends up, I'll, I'll do it sideways so you can see. So you're, I make down and out, my pelvis forward, forward, forward will naturally get your feet to come together. Again, we're just shifting body weight, right? So if I think about it in body weight terms, body weight's down, body weight's real relaxed, body weight's back, forward, and up, okay? Try to be light on your feet, meaning I don't want you to force your feet down, force them out, and then force them together. I want down and out and up and in. Down and out and up, up, up and in. Down and out and up and in. Down and out and up and in. Literally below all of my snack storage, my core is going like tightening up and relaxing a little bit and tightening up and relaxing a little bit and it's transferring all the body weight. So I go down, 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 up, 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 gut, 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 gut. Drop it down with your butt, bring it up with your gut. Don't forget the pelvis trick and you are gonna be in good working order when you're doing your bubbles, okay? Now let's talk scissors. Shall we talk scissors? Okay, here's the deal with scissors. When, when you go down with the butt and up with the gut, but you really want to continue to go fast and to maneuver and to look good, you got to have a good scissor. Now, you got to be able to scissor both ways, okay? I can't have you just good foot and it, good foot and it, good foot. Now, this is going to require that you have a certain amount of muscles right here in your thighs, people inner thighs. If you don't have strong inner thighs, I am sure that the internet is full of videos. Maybe Suzanne Summers with her thigh masters, whatever, of videos that you can do to strengthen your inner thighs. But nothing strengthens your inner thighs more than doing lots of scissors. Here's how you do it, okay? I go down, out, up, and in, cross. Down, out, up, and in, cross down, out, up, and in, cross. When we come all the way across for our scissor, so it's basically your simple bubble, you are really gonna have to pull up here. Pull up. Like your pelvis has to go forward and then all of this has to suck in because you are trying to get clearance for this to happen. Your body weight needs to be on the foot that is in the back in order to make this happen. All right, so let's think about this when we're going through. So we're down and we're up, 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 body weight's right here and this foot is crossing. What happens is if you put enough body weight on your back foot, you know what happens naturally? Your front foot will pop up 
just a little bit because you were very ever so slightly rocking your body weight back. It just happened right there. I don't know if you saw that. Watch what happens to this front foot. I have it like this. In order for me to even stand like this, my weight's a little bit centered right here, right? When I rock this back, this toe just, hey, hey now, it just comes up. Let that happen. You need that to happen in order for this to happen, for that front foot to get clearance. It needs to ride on the back truck or your heel truck, okay? So I go like this, I push out, reach up, 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 up. As soon as my toe comes up, I'm telling you, I don't have to look to see if I'm gonna make clearance. I know that the vast majority of people are afraid it's going to hit. If you are lifting enough with here, letting that toe rise, it's gonna make the clearance. Now, you may think I have to completely scissor. People, you don't have to completely scissor. This is difficult for you to be able to right off the bat, go all the way across, all the way across, all the way across and squeeze. That's difficult, okay? So what I want you to think about is just line it up. Pull it together so one foot is quasi in front of the other. Let's just start there, okay? That'll give you a ton to practice, okay? Do a bubble or two and then you're down. Up, 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 tight, 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 all through here. Drop it down, tight, 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 tight. Drop it down, tight, 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 tight. Do you notice that I am like never looking down when I'm trying to do this? I keep that chin up and I just hope and pray and look optimistically in the future and act like I know what the hell I'm doing and hopefully the stuff goes right here. Because here's the deal, it's not about your feet. It's about your body weight and how you drop and release and drop and release and drop and release your body weight. That's what makes that happen. That's what makes that toe go up. That's what makes this foot get here. And then, mm, mm, mm. Uh -uh. That's what makes that happen. It's not just your feet. If I just rolled forward and did this, okay, do you ever see this? People are like, I got that scissor down. I got it. And you're like, on some level, you do got it, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> and I have said it before, I'll say it again. My job is I live and breathe is to make you look good. I'm here to make you look good. That's all I want. So if I can get you to just use your body weight and use it with some semblance of confidence, like you know people are looking at you, so you're like, okay, let me show them something. You're gonna be down with the butt, up with the gut, pelvis forward, down with the butt, <laughs> pelvis forward. Then you're gonna go down and up with that toe. Down, up with that toe because your weight's on the back foot. Down, up with that toe. Now. Last thing I have to say about this. You are going to struggle with this, especially with the other foot. The other foot is not your bad foot. It is not your bad foot. It is the one that your brain doesn't favor. You're either right or left handed, so you're just gonna be one side. But skaters, you have to do everything both directions. So when you're cruising fast, like let's say you're skating at the beach, you're skating outdoors, you're skating at the rink. You're gonna do a variety of strides. So if you're skating forward, right, then you might bubble, bubble, and then you start scissoring like this. This is a distinct push, okay? Here's what you need to practice. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snacks tight, arms down, out long and lean. Fun zone down, knees relaxed. You're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Bubble out, pelvis forward. Bubble out, pelvis forward, and we're gonna start scissoring. Weight is on the back foot. Weight is on the back foot. As soon as that feels comfy, and you decide you wanna do it with some, a little bit of style, cause that's your job, make it stylish. I want you to have your arms out but be mindful of your shoulders. See, these arms just dangle off these nice shoulders. As long as your shoulders are straight across and this is tight, you're gonna be fine, okay? So if I say five, six, seven, eight, and I just bubble, bubble, 
and then I bring it out, forward, out, forward, out, forward, out, forward. Okay, I can use my arms to help counterbalance, help keep me in rhythm and timing. All right, so skaters, I hope you liked lesson number five. Thank you so much for staying to the end for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Listen, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I want to bring you the best that I can in skating videos so that you can all learn and we can build this incredible skating community, alrighty? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, go practice.